never Ooh, thought I'd live to see this. Gentlemen, gentlemen, Ooh, gentlemen, gentlemen! There's a solution here you're not seeing. Hey, what's up, guys? Harry McKenzie here, and today I'm going to show you how you can convert this little 3D graphic into voxel graphic, retaining color information. You can download this 3D model from free3d.com. Credits go to Dude HDM. Thanks, dude. There's also a blend file available, so I'm gonna open this one up. You can, however, use any 3D software of your choosing to create your models and export the OBJ file. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna use Blender, cause it's free and awesome. So this file is casa.blend and I've already joined all the parts together into one model. You want to reduce the number of vertices and faces as much as possible to keep the resulting file small and simple so the conversion process won't take too long. By the way, you can install Blender 3.1 on Windows 7. The link to the tutorial is in the description below. Since voxel type graphics have a lower level of detail, I've reduced the number of vertices by doing a merge with neighboring vertices. You can also add a decimate modifier to lower the face count. Adjust the ratio here. Maybe we can decimate that by 30%. 4700 faces now. Apply the modifier and don't forget to save the file. We'll save this one as CASA decimated.blend. Select the model and export to Wavefront OBJ and name the file casa decimated.obj. Tick selected only. Let's export it to desktop and then click export. Make sure that both the .obj and .mtl files have been generated. Now when you try to drag the file into Magica Voxel, you'll notice that it doesn't support any color information. Browser search for Venji GitHub and click the first mgehadi link. Mr. Gerhardi and I used to work together as software developers at the gaming company BigPoint.com and I can tell you, this guy is on fire. fire. Click the download link and scroll down. Then click voxconvert.zip to download the file. Open folder and extract the contents. Venji voxconvert.exe is a command line utility, so you can't execute it directly. It has to be executed with a console. So copy the path of the voxconvert folder and open PowerShell. Open Windows PowerShell ISE. You might get overwhelmed with using a console, but it isn't that hard. You just have a command with parameters like the cd command for change directory. Let's get inside the directory of the downloaded voxconvert utility. And the ls command for list files and directories. You can see it lists the same contents as we previously saw in the extracted voxconvert folder. So now we can execute the exe file from within the console and add parameters. Such as set the vox scale to 10 and specify which color palette to use and specify the input obj file which we have saved to desktop. Press enter to execute the box convert program. Oops, we forgot to specify the output box file name. Just press the up arrow to display the previously typed command and type dash dash output casa.box or any other name you wish to use and press enter again. You can set the box scale to a higher value to get more voxel detail, but be mindful that this will increase the processing time. 
We have converted our 3D model file to Vox format, which has been generated in the same Vox convert directory. You can change that by specifying a different path in the output parameter. You can open this file now in Magica Voxel or Vox Edit. Try it. Vox Convert supports a wide variety of formats, not just OBJ. Just check the documentation on the GitHub page or join the Discord channel if you have any inquiries or comments and feedback. The community will be happy to assist you. Hey, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope I made it as simple as possible. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and if you wish to get more updates.